I I have a doubt. Yes, yeah. skin tone ki and the madri colors will basically uh, make me look better because there are few colors that make me, make me look very dull. There yeah. are few which actually brightens up. Everything. Yeah, that's a very good question. Mm-hmm. So what I normally do is like when I'm specifically designing for a skin tone, I go mm-hmm. to you know the color wheel, the Adobe color wheel. Okay. So uh, let's let's just pick your color. Can you can I see your hand like that? Yeah. So that's your skin tone, right? Right, so yeah. I get the dominant color. Mhm. So that's that's kind of your skin right there. Mhm. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And maybe slightly darker. Mhm. So let's say if that is your skin color. Mhm. So these are the colors that would actually the colors that are are showing. Mhm. On the left and the right, those are the colors that would actually go with that primary color. Okay. So you can move it around. You can play around with the colors. See, this these two colors would look really good on you. Or if you if you feel like you're not too uh, you know you're not too comfortable with this vibrant Bright color, colors, okay. yeah, you can tone it down. Okay. You can go like that. Okay. So see if it actually goes with your skin tone. Mm-hmm. You can match it. And then you can move around. You can play around with colors like this. And uh, check out that really nice palette. Pastel colors, more. Yeah, yeah, that's that's uh, you know lavender and dusty pink. Mm-hmm. So those are the colors that you can. This is like a dirty pink over here, and slightly darker pink. And if you want more earthy tones, that's a sage green with mustard yellow. That's a really beautiful combination. I think right? that might look really good on me. I mean, I love it already. Yeah. If you're so, designing a dress for me, I think you should go with colors. <laughs> sure, why right. not? So okay. yeah, we can pick those colors and then I export it to Photoshop and then I start designing my clothes.